Okay, you're right. Welcome to your tutorial on substitution or checking our answers. Okay, now for the last few lessons you've been looking at solving equations. But sometimes when we solve equations and find the unknown pronumeral, we're not always sure if we've got the right answer. Some of you come up to me and say, Miss, 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 is this right? Is this right? Have I got the right answer? Let you in on a little secret. You don't have to come up and see me anymore. There is a way that we can check ourselves without having the answers. Like we've looked at for the last, the last few lessons, and particularly with our introduction, equations are like a scale. If we've solved them correctly, each side, each side sorry, should balance. Let me show you what I mean. We've got this example here and it says Jenny thinks the answer for the following equation 2x plus 5 equals 13 is x equals 4. Is Jenny correct? So, what I'm saying here with the equation is everything on this side is equal to everything on that side. If Jenny's got the correct answer, the equation should balance. So, let me try substituting Jenny's, uh, Jenny's answer in to check to see if she got it right. Now, she thinks x is 4. It says 2x plus 5. Now, I know that that's saying 2 multiplied by x, so I'm going to substitute it in. 2 multiplied by 4 plus 5 equals 13. Okay, so first off I do the multiplication. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 plus 5 equals 13. I do it one step at a time. 8 plus 5 is 13. Ah, 13 equals 13. I have the same thing on the left and the same thing on my right. That means my equation balances. Each side is even, which means that Jenny was correct in thinking that x equaled 4 because when I substituted her answer in, my final solution had the same answer on both sides. So, well done Jenny, you got that one correct. John on the other hand thinks the answer for the following equation 3x plus 2 equals 17 is x equals 6. Again we need to check if John is correct. So, let's go in and have a little bit of a look. Okay, I know that it's saying that all of this on the left hand side is equal to all of that on the right hand side and if John has got the right answer I should come up with 17 equals 17. So let's have a look. It's 3x plus 2. John thinks x equals 6 so I'm going to substitute 6 into my equation. I know that's saying 3 times x so it'll be 3 times 6 plus 2 equals 17. Okay, I'll do it one step at a time. 6 threes are 18 plus 2 equals 17. 18 plus 2 is 20 equals 17. What I have here on the other hand is a number on, one, on my left hand side and a different number on my right hand side, which means my equation does not balance, which means that somewhere along the way, John has done the wrong process and come up with the wrong answer. So, is John correct for this question? No. X does not equal 6 because my equation at the end does not balance. Okay, I've got a bit more of a tricky one. It says X equals 10, true or false, and I've got a really tricky looking equation. When I get a really tricky looking equation, Okay, instead of doing it line by line when there's only a few steps like in the last few examples, I'm going to deal with each side separately. If x does equal 10, I should get the same answer on this side as I get on this side or my equation should actually balance. So, like I said, let's deal with one side first. I'm going to deal with the left hand side first, okay. If x equals 10, I should come up with the same number on the left and the right. Okay, so first off, x equals 10, let's substitute. So 10 plus 2, oops, sorry, divided by 3. What's 10 plus 2? 10 plus 2 is 12 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3, I should work down the page, but I'm going to work across, is 4. 
Okay, so I've come up with 4 on my left-hand side. If x does equal 10, I should come up with 4 on my right-hand side. Let's try that over here. Okay, 2 times, now 2x minus 12. I'm going to substitute it into the equation. I know that multiplication is going on here. So 2 times 10, subtract 12. 2 times 10 is 20, subtract 12. 20 subtract 12 is 8. So I come up with an answer of 8 for my right hand side and 4 for my left hand side. That means and that tells me that x does, oh sorry that's confusing, I wrote that in green, I'm going to go back to red. x does not equal 10 because if x did equal 10 I'd have to balance my equation and I'd have to have the same number on the left hand side as I have on the right hand side. Right has 8, left has 4, which means somewhere along the way I've made a mistake. So my answer for this one is false. Let's look at this one. Does x equal 10? Again, it's a bit of a weird looking equation, so I'm going to deal with my left hand side first. If I come up with the same number on my left hand side as I do with my right hand side, and my equation balances, that means I've come up with the right answer. So let's deal with the left hand side. I know multiplication is going on between the 3 and the x here. So it's 3 times 10 minus 7. 3 times 10 is 30, sorry, minus 7. 30 minus 7 is 23. So on my left hand side, I've come up with an answer of 23. My right hand side, 2 times 2x or 2 times 10, because multiplication is going on there again, plus 3, okay? 2 times 10 is 20 plus 3, which gives me 23. I have the same number on my left hand side as I do on my right hand side, which means my answer for this question, does x equal 10, is true. I know it's true because my equation has balanced. And that's it guys, that's how I can substitute into formula to check my answers. I've showed you these questions, however, in the context of a problem. I've given you a problem and asked you to tell me if, them, if I'm right or wrong. Remember, substitution is not limited to particular problems. With any question in equations, you can ask yourselves, did I go right or did I go wrong? That's the coolest thing. In the middle of the exam, if you're unsure, you can quickly check to see if you've got the answer right. Okay, so just remember, substitution to check your answer is not limited to just certain types of questions. Any equation, if you've come up with an answer, you can substitute that answer back in to check and see if you've got it right.